Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know, now you know. And happy cheer sport day one. It is 7.50 a.m. I woke up at six o'clock, got competition ready. The lighting in this hotel is awful. I don't even know what I look like. Um, but I plan on like taking this all off the second I'm off the mat so I can just, not all of it, I'll leave the makeup on. I plan on taking my hair down and hopefully just wearing it down because I got cat four later tonight. The schedule is, so double competes at 10.08 and then cat four competes at like 6 p.m. tonight. So I have a decent chunk of time in the middle. Hopefully I can come back and take a nap. But we just got fully ready and still obsessed with these uniforms. They are absolutely beautiful. So we are currently about to what well, we just called our Uber and we're about to go downstairs, head over. I just wanted to start the video and yeah, so I'll see you guys when we get over there. We made it! We made it! I just ate a nice bagel while sitting here. Um, I put out a PSA for the weekend to so, like please respect the fact that we're in a pandemic and not touch me and that already got broken so we love that it's not even 9 a.m yet just literally been here for 10 minutes but it's okay you're so short i know you're so tall what the heck uh, do it I like this one uh, what you're not uh, even saying her oh okay. uh, uh, there you go <laughs> The moment you've all been waiting for, we're back together. Oh, look, I'm a coach this time. I know, wait, how do you go get that? Hey, Fabi Giller. <laughs> hey, Fabi. <laughs> okay, so hey, Vogue. It's hey, Vine. Hey, hey, Instagram. Hey, Vine. Hey, Instagram. Hey, Vine. Show us the nails. Where are the flames at, Fabi? Um, they came off, and I didn't have time to get them done, so we went with this. Fabi, look how beautiful mine turned out. Look at that That's one. That's cute. They look like- well, I want this focus. So, Gabby, walk us through your day. What time did you wake up today? I woke up at 6 a.m. Um, I in bed for like 10 minutes. Okay. I got up and I started to get ready, and I didn't really care what I looked like, so I just, you know, it, the makeup turned out though. You. On it. Why won't you focus? There we go. Oh, this is cute. Open it? Okay, sure. <laughs> Let's see. What did we get today? <laughs> it's not focused. Your smile wakes up. Aww. Just remember that this is the competition. Was it 2016? 2016? Kai was walking behind me and we used to fight like brother and sister back then. He was walking behind me and he tripped and he got water on me and I got so mad I took my whole cup of water she and dumped, dumped it on him. Me. <laughs> Mind you. I was in my only change of clothes for the whole day. It was fun. But I dried off. And now look at us. I'm, I was gonna try and lick you. I, I, yeah, I know. I keep yeah, smiling and it's rough. Listen, it was 6 a.m., okay? We're officially to the first warm up mat.
Well, that didn't go as planned. I have not picked up the vlog camera in a while because I just needed time to just collect myself and regroup. So, um, my stun fell, which has not happened in years. years. Literally like 20 years of cheerleading. I wish I could tell you what happened. It went up and it just came right down. There was no time for fight. There was just no one really on my foot and I couldn't really do anything about it. I am still love my stunt group so much and I know that this will never happen again. And sometimes, I mean, we're all human. It happens. Things happen. Even when you literally hit 99.999% of the time, it doesn't mean that it's always going to hit. And I'd rather it happen today and at cheer sport than any other time and we can just regroup for tomorrow and just always be on our toes from here on out. But it was a little bit of a rough day one. I'm not gonna lie, I don't, warm ups went so well. Like even though it was literally 9 a.m. The energy was great, like everything was going so well and I don't know what happened. And there's been so many, so many amazing teams that have hit so many times that are just like falling all over the place. I don't know what's going on, but we just made it back to the hotel. I stayed to watch a few teams and now I'm gonna regroup. Fix my, my lashes. I literally cried my lashes off, so I look crazy. And then we're gonna, I get changed. I turn into Coach Gabby for the night. I can't wait to screw my head off for Cat 4. I am gonna give them all my, all my energy that I didn't really have this morning. They are gonna get it out of me, so. I'm very excited for them, and yeah. I just wanted to give you a little update. So I'll probably just pick up the camera later on. I have about like, hour and a half, two hours to just chill here, so. That's the plane. All right, lighting in this hotel is literally so bad. I, I don't know where to go, but tried to make up for the fact that I looked like a naked mole rat walking around earlier because I cried my lashes off and I looked crazy. So we tried to like get ready a little bit. I did my hair, did my makeup. Oh, I can't stretch in these jeans. I'm trying to stretch in these jeans to show my shoes, but I can't. We're gonna go to the other mirror. Here's the full fit. This is the TG staff shirt of the day. I love this shirt, I think it's so cute. Wearing my jeans from Revolve and my Jordans. What's your outfit of the day, Shelly? I have my Top Gun shirt on. My dollhouse jeans again. I feel like all this, it's all these people see. I'm wearing different ones tomorrow. Shoes from, I um, wanna say Boohoo. Cool. And threw my hair in a ponytail because it was raining and it's nasty. So I look yeah, that Yeah, the weather here is gross. It's so gross right now. But I'm, I'm rocking the Chanel I'm mask rocking the, today. the TG Coach one today. I'm so excited for Cat 4. So, we're gonna head over, meet with them, turn this day around, and I'm very excited. I made it, and they're having me make a TikTok, so enjoy. Good Look at our eyes. She's so good. She's on the 
to that. We love her. Underrated queens right here. Yep. of the whole weekend. I honestly wasn't even gonna put this video together and up because I just felt like I didn't have content. It really wasn't a good weekend. And that's why I wanted to put my focus on the team day two. So that's why I didn't vlog anything else. But I just figured, why neglect it? Everyone's human, it happens to the best of us. Personally, this was the worst competition that I've ever had in my 19 years of cheerleading as an athlete. It was really bad. I fell both days, two completely different parts and I was not expecting it at all. Those skills have hit like literally 99% of the time, except Double O just had a rough couple weeks going into cheer sport. We had an issue where we had to kind of switch out an athlete very, very last minute. And I had a different pyramid base every single practice the week before cheer sport. And the one I ended up competing with, I didn't even get to practice with until warm ups. So I was just super stressed out and in my head. And I think just the team in general, things just weren't, we didn't feel like super prepared. Obviously when stuff like that happens, it either goes one or two ways and you rise to the occasion and you pull together and you really pull it off or it just causes stress and things just don't go the way that it's supposed to. And unfortunately that's the way it went for double O. We did get second, Rolling Stones deserved first place 100%. They hit two beautiful routines that weekend. But I think cheer sport was necessary because already this week back in the gym, Double O has turned around completely who we are. We have made upgrades. We've hit our routines more than we ever have. And just the vibe and everything of the team is back to 100%. So just know that the next time you see us, it is going to be completely different than the team that you saw at cheer sport. However, going into cat four, they did amazing. Again, that team just blows my mind every single weekend. So they hit 
a beautiful zero deduction routine day one and they were in first place going into day two and then day two they had a major stunt fall which it was in like literally the full up hit perfectly they went to move and just the balance was off and they tried so 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 hard to save it but again mistakes happen everyone's human obviously everyone goes out there wanting to hit and doing the best to hit and sometimes things just happen however luckily their difficulty and their day one was high enough that they ended up winning cheer sport which is my first time winning cheer sport as a coach honestly my first time winning a major competition at all as a coach and i'm going to insert the picture i took right here i literally cried when i found out that they won because awards were virtually just to keep everyone safe so i was by myself literally just on facebook live watching it was my mom so i wish i could have celebrated with the team and with the coaches and everything but i was literally getting ready to go to the airport when i found out but it literally brought tears in my eyes and it turned the whole weekend around and honestly made me find a whole new love for coaching because the weekend was so rough as an athlete but they completely turned like my mindset and just my whole weekend around i adore those kids so much they are seriously amazing and if you're watching this cat four i love you all so much and you inspire me so much as a coach and as an athlete and yeah i just love you guys and i can't wait for the rest of the season with you so that's pretty much my concluding thoughts on the weekend cheer sport 2021 was a roller coaster very high highs very low lows but it's only up from here for both teams so get ready for the rest of the season i know i am and i hope you enjoy this video i literally didn't end it at all so we're gonna end it right now so give this video a big like comment down below subscribe to your post notifications on all that, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh,